Hello, hello everyone. This is a Nino update. He is at 13 layers. His chest plate, well, it actually was Lulu, Kit Lulu's chest plate, but um, it was too big for her. So um, I'm using it for Nino. So I had just, as you know, I posted a video asking you guys what you thought. So I had just decided to use the chest plate for him. So his chest plate is not at the same layers as he is right now, but it will be. So even though right now it's not matching him, it will. It's just because the chest plate is at six layers and he's at 13 layers. But as I catch the uh, chest plate up, um, it will match him uh, perfectly, but I have to catch it up. So, basically what I did today is he had three modeling colors, which is primary red, purple, like a dark purple, and a green, like an olive green which I mixed with my primary colors. Um, so he had that modeling done and he had creasing done with coastal scent eyeshadow, what we call in the reborn world powders. And he was creased with that. I always use powders for creasing. Sometimes I use it for shading, um, but uh, that's basically what I use uh, the powders for. The rest of them is, is Ultimate Fusion. So you can see that um, I creased his lips under his chin here. His eyes, which are very challenging because he has them squinted. Around his nose, inside his nose, which is hard to tell because of the lighting here. I have not done his chest plate because uh, his... He's not, uh, I want everything to be the same as I did in order, um, so that it matches. So I don't want to do anything to the chest plate until it's at the same number, um, as the creasing was on him. So, um, his arms are done, the creasing between his fingers, and I did his hands, uh, you can see here to slag slag some feet here and his belly or his belly plate yeah his chest plate is just washes right now that's all I've done to it the two rounds of primary washes and there we go the modeling um, has come out very nicely I'm really I'm so impressed with this paint uh, tomorrow or not tomorrow, but when I work next on him, he'll have veining. Then he will have um, another round of washes. And the red wash will have a couple drops of um, matte sealer in it. And what that will do is seal in uh, all the creasing that I've done. Now the creasing will may fade over time as it would if you were painting the creases. So he will probably need another round of creasing. Um, so I'm just going to take it as it goes. But yeah, I'm so impressed by this Ultimate Fusion. It's just mind-blowing. Amazing paint. Best paint I've ever used on Reborning. So yeah, that's the update on Nino. And um, we'll share again uh, soon.